Notice there's no one-size-fits-all method for how to handle your life. You should always consult with a trained, licensed professional appropriate to the decision you need to make. Medical, legal, financial, nutritional, religious, or other professionals should be consulted before making a life-altering decision. Use information from this course at your own risk. Hello, how y'all doing? Welcome to Manian Devil Productions, How to Manage Your Monkey and Redneck MBA. Um, today we're going to review the book, How to Build a Piano Bench, Lessons for Success from a Red Dirt Road in Alabama by Ruthie Postal Birch. But first a word of prayer, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. Thank you for all the many blessings you've bestowed upon us. Thank you for all of our YouTube watchers, all of our blog followers, all of our blog readers, all the authors we've come in contact with, the uh, publishers, the publicists, the um, sellers, the manufacturers' representatives, and all the people that we've come in contact with via the blogs and the YouTube channel, and all those people that will see this on uh, Amazon. Thank you for all of these. If there's anyone out there seeking to find you, please help them to find you. And thank you for the blessings you bestowed upon us. It's in Christ, most holy and most precious name that we pray. Amen. Well, as we discussed, how to build a piano bench lessons for success from a red dirt road in Alabama by Ruthie Postal Birch. Let me first explain or first tell you that Manian Devil Productions is coming to you from high atop a four inch concrete slab in downtown Wharton, Texas. Now that's important because that's where this author spent a little bit of her early life. She spent her life here in Wharton, Texas. Now that's significant because coming from Wharton, Texas, there's no way to go but up. And we've had several other um, notable people come from Wharton, Texas. Dan Rather, um, the newscaster, is one of them, as well as Horton Foote, the uh, famous playwright, also very famous um, in his own right. But now, Miss uh, Birch or Mrs. Birch came uh, at least temporarily from Wharton, Texas, and I tell you, she came a long way and fought against a lot of odds, and we find that to be amazing. Now, she wrote this book, uh, How to Build a Piano Bench, and it's not about a how to build a piano bench per se, but then again it is. It's also about how to build a business, and how to run your life, and uh, how to lead and manage and become a success in life. All of those are uh, based on some a lesson that she learned from her father when he was building a piano bench many, many years ago, and she still has that piano bench, by the way. Well, anyway, we've got to tell you that this book is outstanding. It is very entertaining. As a matter of fact, it's one of the most entertaining books I've read in a long, long time. It's funny. It's interesting. There's some very interesting stories that she talks about listening to people. And she gives us the actual keys to success that are right there in front of you and easy to follow if you just will. Uh, it's a lot of common sense, but common sense just isn't so common anymore. Now she talks about, uh, she was in a personnel staffing business and was very successful in it. And then she went on to start her own personal uh, staffing business and was even more successful in that. And she gives you the exact reason why she was successful. And you could follow that and become a success. Now she's an excellent storyteller. She is also an excellent listener. Uh, we just, we found this to be very, very interesting. We think that if you have people on your list that uh, need to get their personal life in order, hey, this book will help. If you have people on your list that will get uh, that are in business or wanting to go into business, this book will help. If you have teachers or former teachers on your list, this may or may not help them, but it'll be very interesting to them. And it goes on and on. As a matter of fact, there'd be very few people that you could give this book to that wouldn't find it to be interesting. Now, it's nonfiction, but it's got some parts that read like a very interesting fiction kind of story. It's one of those things uh, where people say, you know, if you were to write this into a story, nobody would believe it. Just like an Andy Griffith episode, they say, if you were to write this in a play, nobody would believe it. Well, if this hadn't really happened, nobody would believe it. You know, it's just one of those things that, you know, uh, stupidity is amazing. 
people can be incredibly stupid, and she tells about some stories where people were. Uh, people can be incredibly mean, and people can be incredibly nice. She also tells one story about a uh, lady that uh, went in for a job interview after having been coached by uh, the author here. And then she got a little advice from her grandmama. And her grandmama told her exactly how to get the job. And just like in the book Calling Things That Are Not by Charles Capps, she claimed that job in the name of Jesus. And she walked away with the job. Of course she did, because claiming things as if they've already happened are going to happen. Just like we claim on this YouTube channel that by the end of the year we're going to have a thousand YouTube subscribers. It's going to happen. And uh, so many other things that you can claim. But now this book is about that. This book is about faith. This book is about uh, overcoming all odds. This book is about being sure of yourself. This is a book about someone who really didn't feel like they fit in, but she managed to fit in anyway in other cases about how she felt like all eyes were on her and she didn't want them to be and how she managed to turn that into a strength and it's just a wonderful wonderful idea we know you like this book we know you'll give it all five stars we give it all five stars we think it uh, once you purchase your copy you read through it you'll want to buy copies for other people to give out because you won't want to turn your copy loose um, if you read this book and you like it, and I can't imagine you reading the book and you hate it, but if you do, please drop us an email over at videos at gmail.com. That's G-I-N-D-Y-S-V-I-D-E-O-S at gmail.com. Like us if you would, and now if you've watched this review on Amazon and you find it to be helpful, please give us a helpful vote, and if not, of course, uh, vote accordingly. If uh, you watch this on YouTube and you like it, please like it on the uh, channel. And please subscribe to this channel if you would. Be a part of those thousand subscribers. And we thank you. Thank you. Notice that there is no one-size-fits-all financial, nutritional, lifestyle plan that will be right for everyone or every situation. Always consult qualified professionals before making any life-changing decisions. This information is to be used for education only. Use this information at your own risk. Wow, Gindy, that good of a book? Yeah, as a matter of fact, we read hundreds of books here. And not all of them get reviews. But uh, they got to get at least a five to get a video. Yeah, I know, and that's why there's so many books piled up in the corner over there that will never have a, a, a video. But then this one... You'd almost have to make it two videos because you got to have a five to get a video. And, and this one needs two videos. How are you going to do that, Gindy? I don't know. I'm not that smart. I know. Uh, you could mess up Fruit Loops. Anyway, um, people, if you'd like to see me at the end of these videos, please drop me an email over it. Uh, you forgot again, didn't you? Yeah. Over it. SeymourHamlet at gmail.com. That's the letter C, period, M-O-O-R-E, period, H-A-M-L-E-T, at gmail.com. I also got one of those twilk things. You know, that's the thing with the bird. And if Gindy did it right, which he probably didn't, but if he did it right, there'll be my handle listed up there. And it's a funny looking at sign, then a capital C, then an underscore, then a capital M-O-O-R-E, then an underscore, then a capital H-A-M-L-E-T. Drop me a twoop and let me know how much you like me. And let me know how you like the book, too. Thank you. Bye! This video made possible by Manian Double Productions.